Parks like Blanchard Woods, Savannah Rapids, and the Uchi Creek Greenway are back up and running for the most part, but there are three parks that are going to take a little longer. Here at the Columbia County Racquet Center, sidewalks are in pieces and courts are ruined. We had a great deal of uh, trees, fence, light poles down over there, as well as sidewalks that came up in the air due to uprooted trees. So we still got a lot of safety issues to address before we open over there. The storm also made a mess of Wildwood Park. We've opened the boat ramps, but we have not been able to open up the campsites uh, due to the extensive trees and water lines uh, that need to be repaired as well as electrical lines. Reed Creek Park is still recovering from extreme flooding brought on by the storm. In this area flooded to about here. These signs were in half. Um, all of the garden was underwater. It was about four and a half to five feet. The interpretive center at the park is open, but the boardwalk is closed indefinitely. Parts of it are unanchored and turned sideways. So this section of the boardwalk is normally level and straight, um, but because of the flooding, it got raised out of its supports. And on this side, back several yards. Horton is warning you to avoid parks that are closed and asks you to please be patient as crews work to clean things up. There are some people that are, you know, calling and not understanding, but for the majority, uh, they understand. Uh, the county's huge when you look at it from a storm perspective, uh, and you know, from one end to a, to the other, it, it all got touched, and it's it took out a lot. So we're working as fast as we can. And Horton says there isn't a timeline for when the repairs should be completed, but the county is working with insurance companies to get the parks open as soon as possible. In Martinez, Hannah Latier, WJBF News Channel 6.